Namaste and welcome to the video. I wanted to share what I feel is a very important insight and that is to let this be the season of unconditionally loving our emotions. And what that means is that for so long we have been upset that we're upset, mad that we're mad. We feel bad that we feel bad. There is this interesting paradoxical fragmentation of the emotion when we have it that arises out of this feeling that something is wrong with the feeling itself. So a thought clouds the feeling we're having and says, this is not okay. This should not be allowed. There is something wrong with this. But the reality is that the feeling is existing. It is there. And in that existence, there is this reality that it has inherent to it. It isn't a problem. There isn't something actually wrong with any feeling, no matter how bad. There isn't something wrong with any thought, no matter how bad it may appear. And so I think a lot of suffering, I feel a lot of suffering comes from this fragmentation of having a thought or having a feeling and then having a reaction to that thought or feeling that says this is wrong. And I wanted to share this insight because I feel it's so important to finally leave this behind us and to finally love and allow these emotions to be the space in which these emotions appear and to not be the person in which these emotions are happening to. To allow these emotions, to love these emotions, like the space of the room allows and essentially loves in that way anything that happens inside the room. I can yell in this room or I can sit quietly in this room. I can dance in this room. I can do anything in this room and the space allows it. The space is never saying this is wrong. This dancing shouldn't be happening in here. This person shouldn't be coming in here. So I love that analogy. Thanks to um, Rupert Spear for giving me that um, idea to share. But I feel it is so important when it comes to our emotions that are arising that we we take this approach and this perspective that we are the space in which they're arising. We're not a person that is affected by the emotion and doesn't want bad ones and wants good ones. No, we are just simply the space in which they're arising. More accurately, the awareness in which these emotions are arising. And there is nothing inherently wrong about anything in reality. So another way to put it is that anything that exists has inherently within it value of existence itself. Any aspect of existence is inherently as valuable and as worthy as any other aspect of existence. A good feeling is just as valuable is a bad feeling. A good thought is just as valuable as a negative thought. And this is a collapsing of a duality, of a split that we have been living in for so long that causes so much suffering. Because when you value only good emotions and a bad emotion comes up, you are destined to suffer because of that reason. Because you are favoring one aspect of reality over another aspect, you are telling yourself that I'm only going to be happy, I'm only going to be at peace when it's going this way. And so in that way we suffer, in that way we set ourselves up, and to break free from that is to simply expand to go meta and to become the space in which good and bad arise. To become the space in which everything can play and there's no judgment just like the space of a room. So I hope that helps. I hope that insight brings value. And I want to thank you for watching this video as always. Namaste.